what is up guys welcome back to our video this is alex and as you can see i'm still back over here in the trail and i'm riding my polygon sys qt8 ah uh, if you're new here please subscribe if you haven't done so if you are back I want to take advantage of this uh, trail ride and go over a bike check on my Polygon Sys QT8. Before I do that, please go ahead and consider subscribing if you haven't done so. If you want to support the channel, check the affiliate links in the description below. And other than that, let's skip to the good part. So, right here we have my Polygon Sys QT8. This is, I think, is a 2020. I've had it for almost two years. On August, it's gonna be two years. This is a T8, it's a special edition 30th anniversary special edition Sys QT8. And when this bike came out, there was another version of this one, same components and everything, but different colors. If I remember correctly, it was black with blue and orange, something like that. And it was a little bit cheaper than this one. But when I got this one, I wanted the specific color. That's the one that got my attention because it only it looks murdered out except for the gold over there on the bottom. Uh, the bottom two but that's something that i can deal with now this bike let's start with the component let's start over here in the front in the front we have a rock shocks revelation with 140 millimeters of travel this is a devonair and he has a compression adjustment right here and rebound over here on the bottom is boost 15 by 110 and it can easily fit my 2.6 tires it can probably fit 2.8 maybe 3.0s and i love this thing i think this is a 35 millimeter extension 36 maybe i don't recall uh, but this is a really really good setup now since we're over here in the front let's talk about the wheel set i have an entity branded double wall uh 622 by 29 so this must be 29 now this i think there were like 35 millimeters internal width which came with originally the trail bus wtv trail bus um 29 by 2.4 tires that i currently have on my black axum and i swap this with the maxis mini and dhf 29 by 2.6 40 psi 120 tpi max terra these are tubeless ready tires and i originally originally had this on the blue accent before i sold them and at the rear i have maxis 29 by 2.6 but these are the the sector as well these are tubeless ready uh, same thing with the wheels they are also tubeless ready they came in tubeless ready from factory however they did come with tubes now moving to the uh, brakes front and rear 180 millimeter with the Textro Orion four piston brakes this work really really well And of course the lever is the Tektron, Tektro Orion 4 piston, they use mineral oil. And these are really, really comfortable, they stop you really well for the type of trail rides that I do. This perform really, really well, no complaint, very, very recommendable. Now, also at the front, 180, and these are Tektro rotors, same caliper over there and let's talk about the transmission this came with the shimano slx 12 speed 
trigger shifter it has the thumb and index shifter which i like a lot and at the rear the slx 12 speed cassette with the 10 to 51 tooth cassette the chain is a kmc if i'm not mistaken yes kmc chain i don't know if you can see that right somewhere in there but it's a kmc and it comes with the external bottom bracket threaded bottom bracket and the i think this is a 30 tooth chain ring gxp uh chain ring now I did change the crank arms because the origin this is a large frame and it came with 175 millimeters so I bought this MPX 11 and I think these are pro wheel same as the original brand but these are 170 millimeters and I'm not pedal striking anymore and I also replaced the pedals and these are am I am rider or M rider M reader whatever you want to call them these are usually whenever i can get, get them for less than 12 bucks i buy them and these have been in this bike for like almost the whole time zero problems zero problems whatsoever i highly recommend this they are very grippy and really really nice now the rear shock this is a rock shocks debonair and this is a deluxe edition it takes maximum psi of 325 and uh, usually it has the rebound adjustment as well and three settings it has pedal unlocked and locked so basically this is firm i usually keep it on pedal unless i'm riding the streets then i ride this over here unlocked i hardly ever use the unlock position and uh performs really well it comes with tokens i haven't put any tokens in this the only thing that i do recommend with this type of forks i mean fork chocks uh, pound of pressure per every pound of weight so i currently have 100 228 something like that in there actually i haven't checked this so i gotta make sure it's it's up to date and it hasn't lost any pressure which i don't think because the sag is still set properly and this thing is working really really well I don't remember the travel i want to say 140 millimeters of travel as well i'm not sure then i have a trans x dropper post and this is maybe three quarters of an inch too large for me but it works really really well and of course just the generic branded uh lever right there the other thing that i also replaced was this uh, saddle the ok bond uh I have this on many of my bikes. They're really comfortable. Really, really highly recommended. And besides that, that's all I have on this bike. I mean, I don't have anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't forget about the, the race face half Nelsons. These grips, they lock on. The only thing I don't like about these grips is these caps right here. Because every time you put them on, they break they're useless but they're good i guess you can just buy generic end caps and put them in there the stem is a 45 millimeter offset with a seven millimeter rise and it's also entity branded and on the handlebars i have entity branded expert apparently these are 35 millimeter wide uh diameter and these are 800 wide bars they are super nice and accessories i recently bought this cospo which i like a lot my phone holder and this uh little bag that clips in right there uh, if it's a little bit of tools my inhaler my whatever i need to put in there fits in there really really well the only thing I don't like about this bike is that it does not come with a uh, uh, cage for the bottle, a bottle cage. So I had to buy this separate one and it works really well. Uh, no complaints right there. The, we're gonna talk about the derailleur. It's also an SLX with the clutch. It's the long cage 
right here that way it can accommodate for this large cassette all right and that this is a bike check the new one comes with fox shocks everything else is about the same and it does come with uh bottle uh mount so that's a good thing about the new one that it does come with the bottle holder and it's a different color purplish highly recommended uh it's about twenty five hundred dollars i leave affiliate links in the description below but uh so other than that that is gonna be it for this one again subscribe give it a thumbs up and uh hope this you like this bike check that's it for this one and i'll see you on the trails goodbye